At UCL's Faculty of Life Sciences, we believe that big change often starts with a single idea. As a new dean, I'm thrilled to lead a community where curiosity takes root and transforms into real-world solutions. Our researchers and academics work tirelessly to understand the biology of life and address humanity's most pressing changes. The really striking thing is the breadth and depth of our endeavour. Everyone here believes in what they're doing, addressing this critical mission of discovery and solutions in the life sciences. In my lab, we study how biological form and function arises in nature. Recently, we discovered that tissues or organs undergo a solid to fluid transition when they are wounded, and this transition helps them to repair. And so one idea now we have is to take this fundamental property and translate it for medical applications. We make new tools for human neuroscience. Some of those are taken up by people doing psychiatry research, and others of those are actually used in hospitals during surgeries. And the other thing that we're interested in is the structure of intelligence, and we hope that in the future, some of our ideas from human neuroscience can be used to make better machine learning. From seed ideas in labs to life-changing discoveries, we're advancing understanding of diseases like cancer and dementia, and addressing urgent issues like climate change and biodiversity loss. SWAR research has provided a global picture looking across tens of thousands of plant and animal species of how the impacts of climate change are going to increase over the coming decades and century. This research has been used by the IPCC Sixth Assessment Report as one of the critical risk metrics for biodiversity to guide ongoing negotiations to mitigate climate change. The great thing is our ability to look beyond traditional observations. We have access within the faculty to lots of different facilities, from genetics research labs to ecology field work. The Zebrafish facility supports a, a wide variety of discovery research within at least 20 labs across UCL. And over this time, it's also grown to become one of the largest facilities in the UK. Zebrafish are a very useful model organism for biomedical research. My lab uses zebrafish to investigate a sort of fundamental mechanisms of how the brain processes visual information and controls behaviour. One of the opportunities UCL gives us in particular is the ability to work with our other disciplinary colleagues. We use techniques from mathematics, physics, computer science and engineering to understand biology. And the Faculty of Life Sciences is highly encouraging of this cross-disciplinary research. There are neuroscientists, there are biochemists, there are physicists, there are people from all walks of science. I'm a theorist, but would like to prove things in experiment, and so my group actually includes a whole bunch of experimentalists who do things that I could never do. Understanding the brain is one of our biggest challenges at the moment. It's such a broad, interdisciplinary problem that you just can't tackle it from a single discipline. Across our Bloomsbury and UCL East campuses, our mission is clear, to turn bold ideas into a lasting positive impact on our world. It was trying to see if I could make medicines better that led me then to create nanoparticles. We put medicines in them and we're trying to control where the nanoparticles go so that we can control side effects of drugs and end up making medicines better. It's very, very difficult to get drugs to go into the brain. So what we've done is created medicines for chronic pain and these medicines are given by firing them up the nose. And that's the basis of one of our medicine candidates being developed by the National Institutes of Health. There are the most amazing new technologies becoming available to us. These technologies can enable us to make further innovations as we move forward. As a biomedical researcher, we interact with, with very many industrial partners. The relationship between UCL and ZEISS dates back from 1950. So building on our relationship, we were able to create the first ZEISS lab on location outside of Germany. What we've been able to offer a researcher is the ability to image biological samples from molecules to tissue across biological scales, which is vital if we want to understand how cell behavior underpin organ morphogenesis. Now building on our interaction with ZEISS, we are in a unique position to interact with the R&D team to design and build the next generation of microscopes. We've got a roof garden that supports our sensor 
and systems development for monitoring biodiversity as a testbed, an area where we can try out new and developing technologies. And we also have the Olympic Park, which we use as a living lab to trial our sensor technologies. It's really important for us that we're training the next generation of thought leaders. It's a launch pad to go out into the world and help make the world a better place. As I stand here today, I'm filled with hope and anticipation for the incredible discoveries that await us. The passion and creativity within our community are truly inspiring, and I can't wait to see how we will continue to push boundaries together.